Hi, my name is Betty, and thank you for signing up for your snow scene paint night. I hope you all have a great time. Today we're making this light up snow scene wine bottle, battery operated. And one of the nice parts about taking this class through a recorded um, workshop is that you get to pause me and play and rewind and then I will also give you my information if you want to email me with any questions. Okay, so let's first go ahead and look at the supplies that you got in your kit. You'll have an emptied, cleared, recycled wine bottle. You'll have a larger paintbrush, one of these tiny little detail brushes, and a round sponge brush. You'll also have a container of white paint, black, red, orange, and blue. The only thing you'll need from your workspace at home is a paper towel to dry your brushes with and just a container of water to wash your brushes with. When you're painting on glass, it's really important that after you've washed your brush, you dry it with um, a paper towel or a cloth because it's a non-porous surface, so the paint will naturally want to drip down. And if you add water to it, that will make the paint get drippy. So let's get started. First step is we need this round sponge brush. You need your plate and your clear bottle. Taking your round sponge brush, dunking it into your white paint, and then tapping it on the paper plate. And the reason we're tapping it on here is just so it doesn't get drippy and give you too much paint on the bottle. And we're going to build your snowman. So you can do them as big as you want or as small as you want. You can make multiple snowmen. I'll show you how to make one and then you can just have creative freedom and make as many as you want. So the first step is just going around in a circle, making the largest of all the snowballs, which is the base of your snowman. Then picking up some more white paint, tapping it on my plate again, going right above and making another circle, just a little bit smaller, the second snowball to form your snowman. And then the last one, even smaller right on top. So you've built a snowman. Now you can flip it around and make another one if you want. There's plenty of room, but I'm also gonna teach you how to make this pretty tree and so just take that into account, but there is room to fit another snowman on the back if you'd like. We're gonna lay some snow all on the ground around the snowman without even picking up more white paint. We really want this to have like a dry technique to it where you're just dabbing whatever white paint was left over all around the bottle just to make it look like it snowed on the ground. So you'll notice how I'm holding the bottle. It's really different than I want you to because I'm teaching you, so I'm holding it away from me toward the camera. But the way that you should be painting is with your finger right in the cork, leaning the bottle away from you, and you have the best um, access to working on the piece without getting paint on your hands because you don't want to hold it that way. So the next step is we're going to make the tree silhouette with the snow sitting on the tree. So we will need the larger of your paint brushes and black paint. And what you're going to do is pick one of the sides of the snowman for where you want your tree to be based at. Black paint. Now, if the brush seems like it's, um, the bristles were stuck together because it's new, just break the bristles up before you put paint on it with your fingers. Find one side of your snowman and you're going to make this long, skinny, not even perfectly straight tree trunk like you're making a long, thin triangle. You want to go up at least to the height of your snowman head. And then from up here, pretend you're making a giant letter Y. Don't press too hard so these trunk, um, I'm sorry, these um, branches won't be too thick, but pull it out like you're making a big letter Y on both sides. And that is the start of the tree. Now the trick here is to keep making letter Ys with these two branches. From this branch right here, I'm gonna pull out another branch here, almost like 
really crooked letter Y, and another one from in here. Add a little more paint onto that one. And just keep repeating this process until you've built the tree trunk and the branches. But then we're gonna make twigs, so we're gonna go even smaller with the black using our smaller brush. You don't wanna to get too close to the head of the snowman because you wanna have room there for a hat. People always ask, how many of these should I do? It really depends on how full you want your tree to be. Remember, you can always go back and add more branches if you want. But this is how you basically build the tree. Don't be afraid to let the branches overlap. Okay. Now I'm going to put this brush down and go to the smaller black brush. Okay, there's another card here that I know so that you can finish this part of the tree. So feel free to keep doing that and then come on back with the smaller brush and we're going to make the twigs. And the twigs is similar to what we did before. It's finding black paint, finding each branch, and making letter Y's coming out of each branch and letter V's like this. So if you take this branch, you're just going to drag out two more lines, so it's like a Y. You drag out a letter V and another Y. And just bringing these twigs to each branch. And just keep doing this around the whole trick. And that's it. The tree should be nice and full by now. And we're ready to start and dress the snowman. Some of you might have paused me by now so that you could finish this part of the tree. So feel free to keep doing that and then come on back with the smaller brush and we're going to make the twigs. And the twigs is similar to what we did before is finding black paint, finding each branch and making letter Y's coming out of each branch and letter V's like this. So here, out of this branch, I'm just gonna drag out two more lines so it's like a Y. I'm gonna drag out a letter V and another Y and just bringing these twigs to each branch. And just keep doing this around the whole tree. And that's it. The tree should be nice and full by now. And we're ready to start and dress the snowman. So it's time to dress your snowman. Um, we're going to back, going back to that little tiny detail brush. We're gonna do the eyes, the mouth, and the buttons. Then we'll wash the brush, do the little carrot nose, wash the brush, and go ahead to do the hat and the scarf. Taking a little bit of black paint, Really, really simple. All you're doing are two dots for the eyes, like that, dot, and dot. And then the mouth is a half circle of dots, just like this. Okay, 
three little buttons. One, two, three. Wash your brush. Dry it. And then using the orange paint, all you need is just one little line of orange that gives you that little button, that, I'm um, sorry, carrot nose, and it's just going straight like that. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the larger brush. Make sure it's dry. So I gave you red paint and I gave you blue paint, and you can decide what color you want your hat and scarf set to be. You can do a blue hat, a red scarf, the other way around. Um, just for the sake of the tutorial, So, picking up the blue paint, I'm going to make a half circle on top of the snowman's head for his hat. It's going to be one of those caps, like a knitted cap. And then, after I've made the half circle, I'm going to go right across the rim, right across the forehead, and just lay down a little bit more paint. That's it. Then I'm going to make the scarf. It is just a line across the neck and then two lines sweeping down, one and two. And now here, without washing my brush, I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of white paint and make a pom-pom on the top of his head. And then at the very bottom, I'm just gonna sweep a few brush strokes so that it looks like there's that yarn at the bottom of the scarf. And that's it. Now, if you made another snowman on the other side, go ahead, pause this, and decorate with a hat and scarf. And then we're going to put some snow on the tree. We're gonna put some snow on the tree and some falling snowflakes all around the bottle using that mini brush again and the white paint. Now, we're not going to put snow on every branch, right? We're just going to make it look like the wind blew and dropped some down. The way we do that is just find one branch and drop a little bit of white paint, dot, 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 on the top of the branch. Swivel it, find another branch. A little bit of paint, dot, 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 like that. And then just keep going throughout your tree until you have enough snow on it. At least if you want to add some arms just take that little black brush some black paint and come on out one side a straight line and put a little V at the end of that straight line so it has like stick arms and you can find a place maybe coming out from where your scarf was I'm doing the same thing and last but not least the magic is about to happen we're going to put the lights in so your light is a fake cork, right? It's plastic. It's got a little compartment back here. That's where the three little batteries are kept. You already have batteries in there. When it's time to replace the batteries, just open this up, stack new batteries inside, and then the switch turns the light on, just like that. There's little button cell batteries, and I'll show you what they are at the end, and you can find those at a dollar store. And all you're going to do is lead this light right through the bottle. This is probably what takes the most amount of time. If it ever gets stuck, you could just take like a brush or a pencil or something and just help shove it down there. Now, you ready to light up the whole holiday season? And like I said, I'd show you the little batteries that are back here. Once you open this up, It's just this little button cell battery. 
and it stacks right in here. Well, I hope you had a great time. If you have any questions, check me out at offyourwallart at gmail.com is my email or offyourwallart.com. Take care. Happy holidays, everyone.